The figure below is composed of a square with a right isosceles triangle on top of it. If the perimeter of the square is 32 inches, what is the perimeter of the figure? So I need to figure out the perimeter of this composite figure, but I don't know any of the side lengths. What I do know is that this perimeter of the square is 32 inches. Well, what do I know about a square? A square has four congruent sides. So this side is congruent to this side, which is congruent to this side, that is congruent to this side. And to find perimeter, you add up all four sides. So that's going to be x plus x plus x plus x equals 32. And I can use x to represent all four sides since they all have the same length since it's a square. So that's going to be 4x equals 32. So x equals 8 which means that the length of any one side of the square is 8 inches. So this is 8, this is 8, this is 8. The fourth one right here is 8 as well, but I'm not going to mark it down because that's not a perimeter of the outside, or that's not a side of the outside figure, which is what I'm trying to find the side of. Now, what we do know is that this triangle up here is an isosceles triangle, which means that these two legs right here have to be congruent. The hypotenuse has to be the longest side. The hypotenuse is always the longest side in a triangle, and it's across from the right triangle. I do know that this length right here is 8 because it's one of the sides of the square, which has to mean that this right here is going to be 8 as well. So now what I have left to figure out is what the length of this side is. Now it's an isosceles triangle, which means that since these two legs are congruent, this angle is congruent to this angle. So since that's a 90 degree angle, each one of these needs to be a 45 degree angle, which means that I'm looking at one of my special right triangles of 45, 45, 90. So when you have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, where here's your right angle, your side ratios are x, x, x root 2. So that now tells me that the, perim that the perimeter, or sorry, the length of this side has to be 8 root 2. So now since I have the length of all the outside sides, I can actually find the perimeter of this composite figure. So it's going to be, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 times 8 plus 8 root 2, so that's going to be 32 plus 8 root 2. So that's the perimeter of the composite figure.